crazy I have ever been Feeling 22 With catchy tunes and beautiful ballads, our next guest has accomplished a lot, like releasing three studio albums, all of which have gone platinum. That's a pretty big deal. And by the way, she's 24 years old. She's currently Europe's biggest selling female solo artist, receiving critical acclaim, selling millions of albums worldwide. But now she's working to make a big splash here in the Twin Cities. Katie Malua is with us on Twin Cities Live. Welcome to Minnesota. First time. Thank you. Yeah, it is. Now, I learned that you're a big Bob Dylan fan, huh? Oh, yeah. I mean, what musician isn't? Yes. Do you know what I mean? I think. When did you first hear Bob Dylan music? Oh, God. I think I was about 16 years old. And uh, I remember hearing Desire was the first record I heard, and I just loved that. Um, but I think my favorite song of all time is probably Masters of War. He's amazing. Isn't he? Yeah, he really is. Mm. So we got all the way over there to Europe. Because, uh, you were born in Russia? Yes. In Georgia, Georgia, actually, yeah. Former, Georgia. yeah. Yes. I mean, used to be part of the USSR, but Go you can't say that anymore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Go on to Northern Ireland. Now you live in London, so you had three different citizenships before you're 21 years old. Anyway. Yeah. Although officially I wasn't a citizen um, of sort of Belfast itself, but I, I'm a British citizen now. Yeah. And we talked about this massive success that you've had in Europe, and you, now you're trying to bring your music to America. You're on an American tour right now. So what are the challenges trying to take your music from so big in Europe to trying to make sure that us Americans like the music as well? Well, I don't really think of it as a challenge. You know, I'm not sort of obsessed with breaking all the markets around the world. I feel lucky to be playing, you know, smaller venues and more intimate venues where I kind of feel like I'm back in my roots when I first began. And it's so lovely. The reception has been amazing. So. Oh, that's good. I think anybody who hears your voice is going to be drawn to it. Really, oh, truly, you. you have one of the most beautiful voices I've ever heard. Thank you. But uh, let's break away from your voice. I got it. Okay. <laughs> you have set the Guinness World Record for the deepest underwater concert. I have, yeah. Okay. Where, where did that idea even come from? <laughs> I, did, I just got a phone call one day, and um, it was my manager. And he was like, would you like to do a gig? at the bottom of the North Sea in Norway and I was like yeah why not I, I love diving I love scuba diving but this didn't involve diving at all this was a building um, basically in the bottom of the ocean it was a gas rig and I had to take a lift going down to it and that's the um, what you're seeing there is me practicing for the helicopter ride because oh. those helicopter rides are pretty dangerous going out to the gas rig you were so think. little just to see you and in, uh, in all that big gear was it ever were you ever kind of Freaked out? I guess you've um, dived before, so... Yeah, I, I don't know. I loved it. I just kind of... It was so exciting, and I can tell my grandkids about yeah. it. So. Nobody else can say that. Yeah. <laughs> that was, what, 303 meters uh, under the sea. It was. How, uh, now, another big, big deal uh, that you've been part of is that uh, you were part of a Nelson Mandela event. You got a chance to perform for Nelson Mandela. We see you right here. You got a chance to meet Nelson Mandela. Tell us about that. That was such an amazing opportunity. Um, not only was I part of uh, 4664, that was the name of the concert, and it was in aid of raising awareness um, that AIDS has in, for women in the community. But I also got to sing with Queen, the band, and I've been their biggest fan since I was like six years old. So, so what did you say to them when you went up to meet oh them? God, I was just, well, I had met them beforehand because we had to you know, practice and we, we had a rehearsal in London. At, at Roger Taylor's place, and um, it was just mind blowing. Did I didn't really have anything to say. Like, oh <laughs> did they know you? Did they know your stuff? They did. Yeah. How cool I is that? It was so cool, and I think they knew my stuff because I'd I'd been saying I was a huge fan of theirs. So I think maybe they're excited about that, which is pretty cool. Well, we're really excited to have you here today, and I Thank know you. our audience will be too once they hear your beautiful voice. Katie's latest album, Pictures, is available now, and she will be performing her hit song at the Dakota Jazz Club on Nicollet Avenue in Minneapolis tonight at 7 o'clock. Tickets are still available and are just $15. You can get them online or at their box office. Go to ksp.com and click on Twin Cities Live for the details. All right, now Katie's going to perform my favorite Katie Blue song. It's I Cried For You. You're beautiful, so silently it lies beneath the shade of blue. It struck me so violently when I looked at you. They never pause to feel that magic in your hand To me you're like a wild rose 